As Christians, it is time to take our rightful position as salt and light in this perverse world in order to transform the spiritual, social, economic and political fabric of the nations. The destiny of our nations rests in our hands. As God's representatives on earth, we must be willing to declare the position of God in our societies, institutions, families, and wherever we find ourselves. Welcome to Weekly Inspiration with Apostle Eric Nyamiche, Chairman of the Church of Pentecost. This broadcast is powered by the Church of Pentecost headquarters. Weekly Inspiration, be inspired to transform. In last week's message, we learned that we cannot be right with God unless we confess our bitter feelings and forgive those who offend us and make peace with them. We therefore need to free our souls from bitterness through confession and live peacefully with one another. In this week's message, Apostle Eric Nyamiche expounds the need to always keep the heart in good condition since God is interested in us more than our sacrifices. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Happy to come your way once again. We are still looking at confession. We are saying that once you do confess, your spirit or your soul is released. Confession is the most important thing that you ought to do so far as the spirit of bitterness is concerned. It will release your soul and times of refreshing will come from above. Last week, we said that when you are going before God with an offering, and you remember, that is what the scripture says, that someone has something against you or you have something against their fellow, then the Bible says that leave your offering. First, that is before anything else, go and be reconciled to them. Then come and offer your gift. So God is interested in you more than your gift or your offering. God is always interested in us rather than what we have to offer. It is your heart first before what you have to offer. Whether it is a sacrifice of praise or the sacrifice of good deeds, God is interested in you first before what you have to sacrifice or to offer. The conditions of one's heart is more important than his or her offering, no matter how big the sacrifice is. The condition of one's heart is more important than the offering, no matter how big the sacrifice is. I want to throw light on what I've been saying from Genesis chapter 4. The fact that God is more interested in you than your offering. Genesis chapter 4. I'll start from verse 1. Adam made love to his wife Eve, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, with the help of the Lord, I've brought forth a man. Later, she gave birth to his brother Abel. Now, Abel kept flocks, and Cain worked the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. Now, don't let the fat portions uh, mean anything to you. Everyone is bringing from what he has. Now the scripture continues. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. Now look at what the scripture is saying. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, trying to separate Abel from his offering. But on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So he says Cain and his offering. God did not accept Cain. He also didn't desire his gift as well. Because he didn't accept him, he had no desire in what Cain had to offer, what Cain had to offer. Cain was very angry, and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Now, this is the big one, verse 8. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. 
Now, what has killing a brother got to do with the rejection of an offering? It wasn't Abel who rejected Cain's offering, yet Cain killed his brother. I believe that there was something about this Cain that God did not like, even before they went to offer. He might have been holding a grudge against his brother Abel. And so when the offering was rejected, I'm sure he thought that, let me finish my brother, and that will be it. But that was wrong. There was something about Cain that God did not like. Cain was a wrong man, and therefore his offering was not desired. Cain was a wrong man. His offering was not desired. The eyes of the Lord is ranging the whole earth. The Bible says that he's looking for the one whose heart is right with him. What is the condition of your heart? What is the condition of your heart? It's more important than what you have to offer. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there you remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First, go and be reconciled to them. Then come and offer your gift. This is what the scripture says. You are more important than what you have to offer. I want to give you space to give your life to Jesus. If you desire that, please, I want you to repeat this after me. Dear Lord, I accept you as my personal savior. Come into my life and be my Lord forever. If you have said this simple prayer in faith, you are born again. God be with you. Thanks for watching this episode of Weekly Inspiration with Apostle Eric Nyamiche. In today's message, we learned that God rejected Cain and his offering because of the condition of his heart. As Christians, we need to understand that God is always interested in the state of our heart more than what we have to offer to him, no matter how big the sacrifice is. This is because you are more important than your offering. We trust that you have been inspired by this week's message. For prayer, counseling or inquiries, kindly reach us on 05433-08187 or email us at info.weeklyinspiration at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Till we come your way again, have a blessed week.